what's up everybody hope everybody's having a good day we struck out yesterday but like i said i had this load already uh booked for today it's uh, another one of those screws this one's longer than the other one but again i think this one's uh three thousand pounds um it's not going far from my house and then actually the crazy thing about it is the load that i gotta pick up tomorrow <laughs> picks up where i'm dropping this one off and the load is going to where I picked this one up. So it's kind of like I'm going in a circle. So it's crazy that I uh, grabbed those two. Uh, those guys are there, they seem okay so far. They seem like some pretty good people to um, deal with. So instead of me dropping this one today, what I'm gonna do, I'm taking this one and um, I'm headed back to the house, man. So it was pretty much uh, nothing to it. A little two hour ride, jumped up, got it. I'm headed back to the crib, grab me something to eat, see you for the rest of the day. Put those little pieces of board right there, but that shit is actually digging into the trailer, bro. So I definitely don't think it's going anywhere. I got it nice and snug. Um, but yeah, it's like a company. I think they pretty much, they make this kind of thing. These go to like those mills. Um, some of y'all out there probably know exactly what these what they do with them, but I just know I, I'm taking it to a mill and that's where I took the last two, so. Um, but yeah, it's crazy though. So that worked out pretty good for me. Um, it's not going far. But it's actually paying over three dollars a mile, so I can say um, that this is probably one of the better rates I've ever gotten. All right, so we stopped in for the night, but I had to unhook it because I just realized that I'm due for an oil change. I was gonna push it. Well, I had to crank that thing now with that weight on it, but I was gonna push it and just go ahead and do it. But being the fact that I got to drop this one, pick up another one. And then drop it and then come back home. Trying to make the best of this truck. Man, I was listening to all your um, input on the truck also, guys. Um, so I'm going to try to do the, keep the maintenance and everything up like I've been doing. We're going to try to ride this truck out see what happens. The only downside of this truck I didn't mention in, um, in the video about should I get a new truck was that my truck is two-wheel drive. And, man, I actually got stuck <laughs> when I had that small Connex. And I had to get my other truck to pull it out, which is just a short bed Z71. But I'm gonna show y'all what it's been doing to my yard. So this is what I've been doing to the yard like every day. So I, this is where I got stuck. I actually got stuck over here and I feel some of it back in. And it was crazy because this right here was hard before and it wasn't a problem. But you know, with it been raining like it's been lately, I mean, this is just soft, man. Like. I've been digging that up. It was some crushing running down in some little gravel and it done started digging that up. So I'm in contact with a company that'll come out and they'll do it. First things first, I got to cut down a tree cause it got some overhang. And of course the dump truck has to be able to uh, lift the bed up. So the guy told me ahead of time, he was like, you're gonna have to uh, make sure there's no trees or branches in the way. So I'm gonna do that. But I'm thinking that I may have to uh, just pave a good portion of it because i'm thinking that if i get that crushing run down there or the crushed concrete mix it's like mixed in with dirt it's gonna take a while for that to pack down and then i might just get in that when i'm loaded and i'm home and it might just dig into that and just kicking that out and just start burying down in that too so um i'm going over my options man i'm thinking about just going ahead forking out the bread and um getting it paid which is gonna be way a lot more because it's only a couple hundred bucks to get them to come out here with about uh 10 tons of um, the crushed concrete and like three and some change for 18 tons. So well, that'll be plenty. And they'll come out here and somewhat spread it and then we'll have to just get out here and spread the rest. But I'm thinking that it'll dig into that too when I'm loaded. I don't know, you guys let me know what y'all think in the comments, but I'm torn with the idea of just going ahead getting like from the edge to about 40 feet in um, paved um so we we got a guy that's around here he does it i mean, see what kind of deal he might cut me you know what i'm saying being that you know we're familiar with them and their family see what happens but yeah i'm about to get this truck man get this service real quick get this oil change tires rotated i already got my fuel filters and all that done air filter and all that changed so this time is for the oil change i i would like for them to be all at once but at the same time it does kind of help um ease up on the cost though with them being kind of offset a little bit because i think they're about two weeks apart usually three weeks apart in between so 
So yeah, that's how it is. So this time it's old change and I always get tires rotated and grass and windshield wipers and we should be good to come back, hook this up and get going in the morning. We'll check back with y'all in a little bit. All right, this part two of this trip. So um, I brought that screw down. He already took it off. I didn't have time to fill it, uh, to film it because these guys usually move pretty quick when it comes to taking things off. So I didn't want to get in the way with that, trying to pull out a camera or something like that. So I just went ahead and let him do his thing. I ain't have but three straps on it, snatched them off. This is the same place though that I'm picking up my next load that I'm taking back to the place that I picked that one up from. Um, I think they're gonna repair it or something like that. So it'll probably be coming back down. Um, but so they told me just sit tight, hang tight. They're gonna um, come down here and get me and take me to where that one is. So I'm just gonna sit in the truck, listen to some music, chill for a second. Hopefully they don't take too long because if they come on with it, I could be done with this whole thing by noon. So, so I think this is like the main thing that place uh, makes. I know they do metal work, but it's pretty much the same thing. Except this is just a bigger screw. And uh, the good thing about them though is the other one I had was 30 feet long. This one's shorter than that one. The other one was 3,000 pounds. This one is 6,000 pounds. So they're not that bad. Uh, the broker said, uh, well, the shipper told me that he overshot it on the weight just to make sure, but he said he was pretty much, you know, sure it wasn't going to be, it been that heavy, but, and yeah, we're almost there, man, so I'm about to go ahead and get it there, man, so I can go ahead and grab me some lunch. It took a little bit longer to get, uh, back to where I had to get to get loaded, and then at the, at the mill where I go, like, you got to go in and out, uh, through the security gate, and you got to check in and out, and, uh, that takes some time and then i got to the gate i had the bol and everything but she asked me for a picture and um to leave out with something from um that yard they're supposed to take a picture of it and give you a picture of it too and you get to the uh guard shack and they match it up and all that so i had to wait for him to come bring it and all that so they're still pretty they're pretty okay about it though so far dealing with them is, so, is not so bad where were we where were we where were we oh yeah so we dropped off uh those two shorts, uh, I don't know if I, I think I got some clips that are probably in this video. You can probably see them. If not, I probably didn't get around to it because they didn't really want it uh, filmed in there. But. So we did that. But since then, we went back to our uh, AC unit. So I had a couple AC units and they had to go to Connecticut and PA. Um, I was scrambling trying to get that there so I can get back, be home for the weekend and possibly maybe squeeze one more in, which I did is what this is right here. So, um, I didn't really film much because I was like on the go and I hate that I didn't because I was like, you know, I need to start doing a better job of that. But sometimes that's how it is, man. You get out here, you get to running. But we had uh, about five AC units, but they were small though. Like total weight was like 5,400 pounds. So, I mean, it was a breeze. Um, put them on the trailer, didn't take up much space. Uh, four of them had to go to Connecticut and then the one the largest one, which still wasn't small, was about 1,700 pounds, had to go to Pennsylvania. Um, the downside to it was that uh, I was trying to get back home because I had some things to do for the weekend. So I didn't have a lot of time to sit around for the low and the same, I did ended up doing the same thing I did when I was in Georgia and Kings Bay. Um, sounds crazy, man, but I did hit it all the way back from Pennsylvania, man, about seven hours. Uh, without a load i mean i looked around i looked couldn't, couldn't find a car i found one car that was paying pretty decent that was coming back to north carolina um as soon as i tried to book the car they were saying they had to go and get with the uh, customer and call me back I, I didn't understand that usually you just once it's posted you book it and go but i didn't have time to sit around and wait you know stay an extra day because i got some things coming up this weekend um that i got to take care of so i had to get back so you know I, kind of, I was kind of down about it at first, man, but it is what it is. It's not the first time. That, actually, the only other time I dropped off in Pennsylvania, I had the deadhead six hours back that time as well. So um, that's just where it's at. But um, yeah, first time in New York, I wasn't impressed. But you know what I mean? Ended up in the traffic both ways. Um, hit a little bit of traffic in um, Virginia on my way back. The whole thing about the parkways thing, I don't know if I can get with that. I was on a parkway. Well, the, the GPS I was using tried to take me through a parkway in DC and um, 
I had to damn turn around and go way back to go around it or whatever. And one of my homeboys, he drives uh, he drives these. He was like, it's really a height requirement thing, but it still it says no commercial vehicle, so I didn't want to risk it. But he was like, really, it's just for height. It's not, it has nothing to do with length or nothing like that. So if I'd have known that, I probably would have just stayed on it. I had a couple people tell me they accidentally got on them and they just wrote it out. But I didn't want to get a fine, pulled over tickets and all that. Because I was, anytime I'm out here when I'm doing this, I, I'm, I got a time, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got it scheduled out of my head. All right, so I didn't film uh, me dropping off that load because, man, I just went to it. It was going to some apartment buildings that they were building. And um, it was just like them unloading, man. I was tired, man, ready to end the week. Um, sorry I couldn't, didn't make this video as good as it could have been because I did do some good loads and this and that stuff. But, um, yeah, man, but that really was it, man. We did the two shorts last week, three shorts last week. We did the connects and the um, two screws, and then um, then this week we did the load. We did uh, the AC units. Like I said, it was five of them, but they were very very light. Connecticut shot the Connecticut first on the way back down. Hit PA. PA came back to the house the next morning. I grabbed, jumped up, went to Richmond. Where I went to Liberty, North Carolina. Picked up that uh, those those wooden beams. Took those wooden beams to um, Richmond. I met Lothian by right by Richmond. Came back to the house and called it a week. Getting ready to get started for this week, man. Got to get at it. So I'm going to try to work a little harder this week, hopefully. But I don't want to jinx anything. So I'm going to just say we're just going to get up and do what we usually do. Hopefully we grab some good loads, take care of some things. But again, as always, thanks for watching. Make sure y'all hit that um, like button, comment, subscribe so we can keep growing this channel. And we'll catch y'all on the next one.